All right, we are gonna do some practice getting in and out of the bathtub. So I've got a little pet cot. You could also potentially use like a step stool, just something to give a little bit of elevation because it's a lot of times a little bit too tall for young puppies to, go, to jump all the way in the tub by themselves. I also have a bath mat here so that when she climbs in, she's not slipping on this. There is also, you guys could see a gripper mat. Yes, good girl, in the bottom of the tub. So there again, she's not slipping and sliding. Now all I wanna do, which some of the obstacle work that we've done with her has helped with this already, and a lot of her previous training stuff where we've taught her to jump on the pet cots and follow us around and go on the different obstacles. What I wanna do is just lure her in towards the tub. And if I can get her to put, like she did, her front paws up there, I'll reward that. And we'll just gradually see how far along we can get. If I need to, I could potentially use the leash to help her out a little bit. Good job, Allie. Yes, good puppy. Okay. Good girl. And I can lure her a little bit further and a little bit further. And what I might even do as I try to work her towards jumping all the way in there is I might drop a few pieces right in the bottom of the tub. So she thinks, ooh, if I go in there, I can get those. Yay, Abby! Good girl! Yes! So this is the first step. I see a lot of people whose dogs, if they're not very good about getting a bath, typically it starts with us seeing that they're not very good about climbing in the tub, let alone letting you hose them down and scrub them. And then same thing, I don't want her jumping out and hurting herself by slipping on the floor or having to jump too far from the edge of the tub down to the floor because she is still a little girl. Good job, honey. Very nice, honey. Yes. Did you get them all? What a good girl. So I just draw, I'm dropping a few pieces in the bottom of the tub. She's picking those up and then I can feed her a couple more pieces. Let's go. Oh, good job, honey. Very good. And what you can start to do is you can actually start teaching them to get in the tub on cue. So when she's doing it, which she already kind of is pretty reliably, then I would start to name it something such as Atlee. Let's get in the tub. Good job. Good girl. Oh, you got this one stuck under there, didn't you? Got it? You got it. Good girl, Good girl. And you can see her legs are a little all over the place, like most puppies are. So it's important at this stage while we're practicing that she's got a lot of stuff to grip. So that's why I've got the mat here, I've got this there, because I don't want her to try to follow what I'm asking her to do and hop in the tub and then slip and maybe hurt herself or make herself a little worried if she doesn't have a good grip with her paws. You ready? Ellie, get in the tub. Yay, good girl. You almost do a handstand there. Did you get them all? Yes. Good job, honey. You got you missed one. There it is. Good girl. Okay, let's go. Whoa, careful. There. Make sure that stays on the ground. Oh, you're gonna go back in? Yes, good girl. So she's jumping the gun a little bit, but what I was gonna say is the next step would be to ask her to get in there and not have the food in there for her, but bring it to her after she does get all the way in. Let's go. Good girl. So that way, instead of her just jumping in because she knows that there's food in there, we can start to teach her to go in when we ask and we'll reward her for following what we're asking her to do. So that way it's not always about, oh, I've got something, follow my little treat into the tub. You can ask her and then reward her after so it's not a bribe. It's a payment for doing it correctly. Good girl. Allie, let's get in the tub. Get in. Yes, good girl. And I'm still giving her a little bit of a gesture with my hand, but eventually you could probably even fade that because she's a pretty quick learner. Okay, let's go. Whoa, careful, watch those puppy feet. Yes, good girl, Allie. Good job, honey. Whoop, you dropped it. Huh? Here, why don't you go get that piece? 
Hey, Allie, let's get in the tub. sits or puts her paws back on the edge. Good girl. We can work on her staying in there a little bit more politely as we add different stages to bathtub and bath time training. Okay, let's go. Good job. So then we would start to progress from this to having her sit in there while we turn the water on. Good job, honey. Yeah. But you guys might not be able to see from this angle, but I would essentially just Put her in, turn the nozzle for a second. Ellie, get in the tub. Good girl. Have lots of food, so I'm gonna turn the water on for a second. Yay, puppy, good job. And just pay her for not being too worried about the water turning on and off. Yes, good girl. Yeah, good job. And there again, you can do this in small stages. So I can just turn it on for a quick two seconds. Yeah, good girl, and pay her. I don't need to turn it all the way on. I don't need to spray her just yet. Good job. Good puppy, very good Ellie. Okay, let's go. Whoa, slippery paws. Good girl, ready, go get it. You got it? Ellie, get in the tub. Yes, good girl. I'll go back to doing, turning the water on a little. be all soggy and wet. We'll do the same thing as we start to introduce bringing, we've got a flexible shower head. I would start to turn that on. I would maybe spray her very gently on the shoulder. I would also pair that with a lot of petting and feeding. So that way I'd do a little bit of spraying with the nozzle while she's working on nibbling a treat out of my hand. So she wouldn't be worried about what's going on back here with the water. And then you would progressively start to decrease some of those rewards so that you would just pay her periodically. And eventually you would start to just give her something after she's all done with her bath. Good job, honey. 